Welcome to Risk 66 Accelerated Training Video on the Bornhuter Ferguson Method. I'm Tim Coomer, let's get started. The Bornhuter Ferguson Method was developed by Ronald L. Bornhuter and Ronald E. Ferguson. It was first published in 1972 in the paper titled The Actuary and IBNR by Bornhuter and Ferguson. Now, this method estimates the ultimate incurred losses based on projected losses and actual loss experience. Development methods can lead to unreliable projections in recent periods. Sometimes it understates when losses are small, other times overstates when losses are large. The bornhuter ferguson method smooths the variance in recent periods caused by the absence or presence of large claims. It can be used even if there isn't a credible volume of historical data. There are several advantages to this method. First, it's easy to calculate. Next, it can be used with both incurred or paid data. Random fluctuations in current or volatile periods do not significantly distort the estimated ultimate losses, particularly useful with long tail lines of insurance such as medical malpractice or workers' compensation, especially for the most recent periods. It's suitable for new lines of business where there's little to zero amount of historical data. And finally, a good method for estimating ultimate losses for more recent policy periods since results are not as reliable when using just the development methods. However, there are some disadvantages to the Bornhuter Ferguson method. It's not effective for short tailed lines of insurance. The method will not work when development factors are less than one. And the method assumes the unreported or unpaid claims will develop based on expected claims. Let's take a look at the steps required to calculate the ultimate incurred losses using the Bornhuter Ferguson method. First, we calculate the projected losses. Second, we calculate the percent of unreported claims. Third, we calculate the expected losses. And fourth, we calculate estimated ultimate losses. Let's step through this step by step now. So our first step is to calculate the loss projection. As we've seen in some other training videos, projected losses equals the pure loss rate times exposure. In this example, we will assume the projected payroll is $105,100,000 and the pure loss rate that was selected was $1.54. So our projected losses equals $1,618,540. Step two is to calculate the percentage of unreported claims. The percentage of unreported claims equals one minus one divided by the loss development factor. The loss development factors are either an industry benchmark factor or a client's unique factor based on historical data. You can see our training video on how loss development factors are computed by the actuary. Now in this example, the loss development factor is 1.637, and so the percentage of unreported claims would equal one minus 1 divided by 1.637, which equals 38.9%. Next, step three, we calculate the expected additional losses. These equal the loss projection times the percentage of unreported claims. In this example, our loss projection is 1,620,000. We just computed the percentage of unreported claims to be 38.9%. So the expected additional losses would equal $630,180. This is computed as 1,620,000 times 0.389 or 38.9%. Next in step four, we're gonna calculate the estimated ultimate losses as being equal to the reported losses plus the expected additional losses. In this example, the reported losses are $439,934. The expected additional loss amount that we computed in the previous step is $630,180. So the estimated ultimate losses is $1,070,114. Here we show the incurred method, which is commonly used as compared with the Bornhuter Ferguson method. I won't walk through all the calculations, but you can see on the March 1st, 13th period start 
row in the born hitter ferguson method we show all the numbers that we just computed in the previous four pages showing the four step process now if you do have additional questions on this i encourage you to contact us at sigma by emailing support at sigmaactuary.com and similarly here we show the paid method and how the numbers and computations using the paid method line up against the born hooter ferguson method uh, using reported paid losses in summary actuaries will rely on many techniques to make the selections it is important to view the range of results provided by the various methods to determine which methods produce the most credible indications. This is where actuarial judgment and experience really comes in handy. There are some challenges that can be faced when using the born hooter ferguson method. Uh, downward development, when development factors are less than one, uh, a solution to this would be to limit the development factors to a minimum value of one. However, since the born hooter ferguson method is mostly used for long-tailed lines of insurance, particularly for the most recent periods, development factors are typically much greater than one. Short tail lines of insurance, the born hooter ferguson method becomes redundant as it will approximate the development methods. In conclusion, the born hooter ferguson method is simply another analytical tool in the actuary's tool chest for assisting the actuary in making the ultimate loss projection. For expanded information, see the resources listed along with this video or contact Sigma Actuarial Consulting Group at support at sigmaactuary.com. Thank you for taking time to watch this Warren Herder Ferguson Method training video from Risk 66.